like it. I like it, yes. I think it's um, surprising on the one hand and interesting on the other one and not so boring like the Germans are. <laughs> I know one who is uh, more often with us and two who study in French class with me. I don't know uh, any international uh, students here. At this university I don't know anyone. I don't know any. I know a couple of Spanish people but other than that I don't really have that much contact to foreign students. Four, five. Knowing by, by seeing some, knowing personal Zero. Um, I recently got to know someone who's from England. I think he knows lots of people who are from, from France. Don't you? Yes. No. As friend, nobody. I only uh, know one of them. I have some international students as friends. Uh, no, I don't. Countless numbers, <laughs> really. Very, very many. Uh, <laughs> um, not one. <laughs> Me one, him. <laughs> I have two roommates. All my friends are quite international right now. Italy and Spain, and France, a guy from Canada, a guy from Finland. I'm from Africa, some are from um, Morocco. It's from Canada. And one is from Chile and one is from Spain. So From the United States of America and from Latin America, from Argentina. I'm from the US or the UK. From everywhere, classes, coffee shop, parties. In the class and one is uh, a good friend of another friend of mine. Um, on party, on party, yes. In different courses and um, just along here on the university campus and just while drinking coffee and <laughs> talking to friends and I have very many international friends so they have friends too and that's how it goes. Um, well, I went to a tutorial, an English tutorial and then I met an American who was leading it and then I met all the others, I don't know. Um, I think at the party it's the easiest um, way to, to become more friends. There are certain kinds of events where you can get to know them. Are you familiar with the Car Neunzehn building? Once a week there used to be a party where all the Erasmus students can meet and of course you have certain kinds of seminars and lectures um, where Erasmus students also take part and then you get to know them. I don't know, um, I think it could be better. They are always by themselves. All international students in my faculty have been full, totally integrated. They have many German friends. Um, they, I think they're feeling good in Germany, in Germany at the University of Kassel. They have never been cultural problems up to now. Most of them are pretty outgoing, so they want to know Germans. Sometimes it's difficult, but if you're um, really open-minded... Um, I don't think it's really difficult because they are pretty outgoing and so am I. So I think it's really easy, but the condition is you have to be outgoing and friendly and um, pretty talkative, I guess. <laughs> it's not that easy actually, you don't come across them too often. There are no like um, meeting points or um, events where you could meet them. 
or be aware of them. So, not so easy. Not at all. <laughs> if you want to meet them, you, you can meet them. Mm, German. 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 English is okay. As long as you speak English, I guess nobody would would have a problem. And the ones I've met, they only spoke Spanish and English, and so that was fine for me because I can speak those languages. But I think as long as I can speak English, it's fine. English. German and English. Every all international students speak. About all my faculty, I'm very good German. Normally German. Normally and German. Sometimes, sometimes English. Sometimes English. Um, I think it would be uh, nice on the one hand to prefer it, to, to let them, to make them prefer it, but it's not um, not that important because the Germans should be able to speak English as well. I don't think you necessarily need to, to speak German. I think it's better if you can speak German, but I don't think it's, it's really that important. I think it's, it's cool. Uh, there should be, um, I think, even more international students here because um, multicultural uh, is, is nice and interesting. The more cultures, different or new cultures I get to know, the better it is for me personally. I love it. It's just uh, interesting because you have so many different languages, perspectives and yeah. I think it makes the um, the education um, richer, kind of richer, because um, there are so many difficulties in culture and um, in the uh, way people talk, so we can really learn from each other, I think. Um, you learn more countries, more culture, and um, it's more be together, work together and learn from each other. You mean the stereotypes? I think lots of them think we are uh, we don't have so much sense of humor. What I um, think it's true, and think that the Germans are hardworking people, uh, always um, right on time. They are always on time. They're very precise and emotionally unevolved, maybe <laughs> no, but <clears throat> a bit colder than uh, not not very warm-hearted. <clears throat> Well, yeah, I think this thing about German correctness and uh, being in time and all this stuff, that is something that, um, well, that fits quite good to his, to his Germans. It's when you're in Germany, you don't recognize it, but when you're in a different country and uh, get to know people from other countries, then you really learn that you're, most of the time, you're more in time than people from other countries. That's true, yeah. I think the German reputation is, is pretty well. Well, in America and Spain it is. Um, they know that, I don't know, they're really fond of sports because I think the German, are really, uh, the German people are really good athletes. And um, I don't know, the only thing they say is that language is kind of harsh. And so that sometimes seems that we're, I don't know, kind of reserved. Um, but other than that, I don't know, they only said nice things about German people. Like,